Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we are going to the assemble Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool and we carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Please note that the microphone hole is located next to the hole for the card tray. So after that, we need to heat the surface of the back core to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. For this, we use a thin plastic film, we insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and carefully pass it along the edge cutting off the adhesive backing. We carefully go over the edge, detaching the back cover. Now we can open the back cover. We have nothing on the back cover. And please also note that the back cover is separate from the camera cover and therefore it is additionally glued around the camera cover. After that, we need to remove the two screws that fix the camera cover. For this we use a 1.5 mm Philips screwdriver or Philips hash 3 o So now we need to use a non-metallic tool to detach the camera cover. In our case it is tweezers with the ceramic tips. Carefully hook the edge, lift and remove the camera cover and put it aside. And then we can proceed to unscrew the screws at the top and bottom. For this, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. If the screws are different in size or color, it is better to place them separately and in general it is better to place the screws on a certain surface in an easy to remember order so that nothing gets mixed up when reassembling. At the bottom we traditionally leave one screw that holds the speaker so that it doesn't interfere with the detachment the middle cover. Now we need to detach the middle cover. To do this we first use a plastic film inserted into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame in the area of the car tray opening. Carefully detach a few clips and then we can use a thicker tool. We always have to be careful around the side buttons, the fingerprint sensor, so that we don't damage anything there. We also need to be careful on the corners, because the core is held very tightly on the corners. And we also need to be careful with the edge of the display frame. So we carefully leave the middle core and we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector with a non-metal tool and disconnect the two battery connectors. And we have detached the middle core, put it aside and we can unscrew the one screw that secures the loudspeaker. For this we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. Then we can remove the speaker. We gently hook the edge, lift and remove the speaker. After that, we need to disconnect the connectors. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector, respectively release the cable itself, which is attached to the subboard, disconnect the second coaxial cable, disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the second interboard cable connector. And we can detach the subboard. We also hook the edge and we take the subboard out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and the card connector on the back side. And now traditional test of the microphone hole. Please note that we have the microphone hole located next to the card tray. The microphone hole is L-shaped located in the display frame and comes out perpendicular to the microphone body, which is located on the back side of the microphone hole on the subboard. Accordingly, if we insert something into the microphone hole through the display frame, we can't damage the microphone, but water can. 
and we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. First, we disconnect the connector of the interboard cable. Then, we disconnect the connector of the display cable. Disconnect the second connector of the interboard cable. Dis disconnect the coaxial cable connectors and we can detach the cameras. Carefully hook the connectors, lift them up and remove the cameras. It is also better to hold the cameras carefully so as not to touch the lenses, so as not to accidentally dirty or damage them. So we remove the rear cameras and we can detach the front camera. Also carefully hook, lift and remove the front camera. The camera can be taped to the display frame. After that we detach the motherboard. As always we find the right place where we can hook, lift and remove the motherboard. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally, for Xiaomi, we have two brown tabs that need to be unfolded. We don't forget to read the description on the tabs, in what order and what exactly we have to pull. So we unwrap the tabs, usually with the letters A and B on them. Tap with the letter B we need to turn aside and the tab that is we have white and located on the edges we need to gently pull up and we pull up the tab and we detach the battery under the battery we have an adhesive protecting coating which protects the interboard cables so at this point we're done with this disassembly thank you for watching and see you next time or in our new videos Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.